Hi and welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host, Mamat Azam, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can upload pictures or files using ASP.NET MVC application. So let's first start the application so that you'll have a better idea what we have initially. As you can see, uh, the folder that I have over here is upload and the view is index.aspx. This is the index.aspx view and you can see it doesn't really have anything. So let's go ahead and add a file button that will allow us to upload the file. File, um, the name is very important, okay? If you don't pass a name, it won't map it to the dictionary or which is actually passed at the hash table that is passed to the forms collection and you won't be able to access the files. So I'm gonna say file upload and I think that's, uh, that's pretty much it, right? So let's go ahead and refresh it. And now we have a file selection, uh, file selecting area. And uh, go ahead and create a button. I'm gonna create a submit button and the text or the value will be upload. Of course, the form has to be posted somewhere. So let's go ahead and say, using html.begin form okay and the, there are now different things that you can do the action name so the action name is upload um, the controller name is also upload so it's called upload controller and the form method in this case is form method is post because we are posting the data and some additional attributes that, they, that are required which I am going to add just right now after, right now, okay. So the uh, additional attribute is ENC type, okay? Now the ENC type basically is a content, basically it, it tells you what kind of content is being served, what is the type of the content. And by default, it is application and encoded data, okay? But you are now performing a file, you're transferring a file, right? So it has to be related to the file so that your controller will know that, okay, the file is coming, okay? And the file can be added to a request file selection. So I'm going to say ENC type, multi-part, and form data. Now this will ensure that the file is actually being transferred. If you don't do this, your request or file collection will be Will put, does not contain any file, will not contain any file, it will be zero, okay? Let's build this. Cannot really run this right now because we haven't implemented our upload uh, controller function. So let's go over there. Upload controller is like, you know, it's uh, upload and I can simply go ahead and say, okay, for each var file in request.files, and basically what you want to do is to put the files in a certain folder. Now I do have a folder and that is inside my directory of the application. It's called uploaded files. So I can say files, and let's say posted file equal to um, file as posted HTTP posted file and then posted file dot save as, and you can basically save the files in, in the folder. And you have to use server dot map path because it's actually mapping it uh, to the directory, to your application directory. So we can simply say uploaded files slash, and whatever name you want to give to the file, I'm just gonna say path dot get file name, uh, the file, okay? Oh, I mean, the post file post the file dot file name. So this will upload the file into your uploaded files folder. Let me build this. And if I go to my uploaded files folder, you can actually see it's currently, it doesn't really have anything, it's empty. So let's go ahead and run the application. I'm gonna close it and run it. Now let's go ahead and browse a small file. So I'm just going to select this one, open and upload. Let's see what happens. Okay, 
So the problem with that, the file, it cannot be converted into a HTTP posted file collection, uh, posted file, okay? So in, in over here, when it is going through the file, it's not able to uh, convert. I mean, this conversion is actually uh, failing, okay? So what we can do, what can we do to make this work? So HTTP posted file, when you're converting the file inside this, it's failing. So what we have to do, so we have to say request.file, or request.files, and, oops. And basically I'm going to pass this, okay? And just say that this is a string. And we'll get the value over here. And let's start do it again. The original code that I actually wrote uh, is for most of the people who will actually write that code and it's going to break. Okay, so just to keep it on the same track, so let's go over there again. I'm going to select a file and open and upload. And now it's uploaded. If I go over here to my upload files, you can actually see that the file has been uploaded. Now let's select a different file. So uh, what I'm going to do is close it, run it again, browse, and let's select any any file. So I'm just going to select this one, open and upload. And you get this. Now this is very weird because, I mean, why are you getting this kind of a error? This connection has been reset and you don't know what to do. Well, the problem is that the file is just too big to upload. Okay, it's around five meg, I think, and it's too big. So not not, not to worry because you can simply go to your web.config and I just added, if I can find the correct web.config, I think it's this one. So if you go down, uh, hmm, kind of weird, I think I just added it. Okay, here we go. So the default size is four zero, it's like 4096 yes so the default size is this this is in kb uh, we you can always increase it and run your app again and that will allow you to to upload large files now of course if you are uploading much larger files you do need to specify some sort of indication that the file is being uploaded so please wait so we just uploaded the file and if you go over here you can see this file has been up uploaded and the size was for this file the large one was a 4.35 i think 4096 will be like 4 kb okay uh, and then over here we have a small file which is 61.6 kb so in the next one in the next uh, video in this next screencast i'm going to show you how you can display the files on the screen because if right now if I want to display a file let's go to the index okay uh, I mean the list and if you go down over here I'm using an image or, or this is an extension helper which I created myself and if you don't use this it will become a little bit tricky to display a file because of all the paths okay and we are going to cover it in the next video how you can create the image extension and use it in your application once again i like to talk about high on coding if you haven't visited high on coding you are missing out on great articles videos podcast and everything and um right now my main focus is mongodb i will be uploading some screencasts about asp.net mvc uh, or Everything on high encoding is free. I don't charge for anything, but I do want you to donate because donation will help us pay for the bandwidth costs, pay for to get more machines, to get more videos on the uh, on the website, and uh, it, you can actually see the donation amount it can be one-time donation or a monthly donations. If you do want to sponsor videos, then hey. Give me an email, shoot me an email, adamsharp at gmail.com and we can hook something up. Bookmark this because you are going to need this high on coding 
and visit it quite often. Tell your friends to visit it. Uh, everything is free. Everything is high quality. Thank you very much.